owing to its tantalizing taste. The onion needs no introduction. The abundantly available delectable spice is called Pyaz by its popular name. Besides, Palandu in Sanskrit, Pyaz in Bangla, Dungri in Gujarati, Ganda in Punjabi, Onion in English, and Kanda in Marathi. Almost daily, the onion is chopped, ground and fried in every household. It is an essential ingredient of salads and renders exquisite taste to vegetarian dishes. It is also considered a good ingredient in folk medicine. There is a uniform demand for onions in the market throughout the year, being an essential item in almost every dish prepared every day in every house. The annual production of onion in our country is 55 to 60 lakh tons. Out of which 6 lakh tons is exported and 40,000 tons is stored as seed bulbs. Nearly 30 to 35 lakh tons onion reaches the market for domestic consumption. Season-wise, 20% of the onion production from October to November. Twenty percent in January, February, and the remaining sixty percent in the summer months of April and May. Heavy supply of rabi crop floods the market from April to May, resulting in lower prices to farmers. Sharp fluctuation of the prices of onion is neither good for the farmers nor for the customers. Hence, onion storage on a large scale is a must for the benefit of both. From June to November, only stored onion is used in the country and therefore about 20 lakh tons of onion needs to be stored to meet the requirement of the domestic market. Storage losses are estimated to the tune of 45 to 60 percent at the stages of post-harvest handling, storage and marketing. There are various types of losses, for example, weight loss sprouting of bulbs and rotting which occur during storage. Loss of onion due to improper handling and unscientific ways of storage is a matter of great concern. At the National Research Center for Onion and Garlic, Rajguru Nagar, under the domain of Indian Council for Agricultural Research, New Delhi, some simple and effective technologies to minimize the loss of onion and garlic have been developed. Farmers and entrepreneurs can reduce the losses by adopting these methods. Generally, it is postulated that measures for checking losses should start immediately after harvesting. But this is not a sound assumption. The process of onion production and its storage has to start at the time of sowing of seed itself. This includes selection of suitable variety of onion as the first step as 20 to 60 percent variation in losses during storage was observed in different varieties. Light red onion varieties like N241, Agrifound Light Red and Arka Niketan have very good shelf life. Dark red, yellow and white varieties have poor storage life. Remember for long storage life of onion, dark red varieties like N53 and Agrifan dark red should not be selected for sowing in the rabi season. Season of planting also affects the storage life. Rabi onion harvested in April and May is best suited for long storage. Kharif or late Kharif crop harvested in October, November and January, February respectively exhibit early sprouting and other storage losses. Balanced fertilizer applied at appropriate time enhance the storage life of onions. Calcium, 
potash and sulfur are the important elements which enhance their storage life. For better storage and higher economic yield, a dose of 150 kg of nitrogen, 50 kg of phosphorus, 80 kg of potash and 50 kg of sulfur per hectare have been recommended. Irrigation at the right time with appropriate quality and quantity of water enhances the storage life. Excessive irrigation close to maturity reduces storage quality as this results in bull neck bulbs. The open necks of these bulbs are vulnerable to rotting in storage. Drip irrigation has been found to be the best system of irrigation as it improves bulb quality and its storage. Neck rot, bacterial rot, basal rot and many other diseases reduce the storage life of onion bulbs. Seed treatment and timely sprays with appropriate pesticide or fungicide during the crop growth is important. Pre-harvest spray of Bavistin at the rate of 0.02% 15 days before harvesting of bulbs reduces spore load of diseases entering into the storage structures along with the bulbs and thereby reducing rotting losses. When the leaves start drying off and more than 50% plants bend at neck after drying, harvesting of bulbs should be commenced. Mature bulbs should be kept in windrows along with tops in the field for curing for three to four days. During drying of leaves, growth retardant chemicals synthesized in leaves enter into the bulbs and increase their dormancy. The tops should be cut leaving two to three centimeters neck with the bulb so that the neck dries out completely and closes. This facilitates better storage life of bulbs. After cutting, bulbs are graded according to size. During this time, double bulbs and bolted bulbs are separated. Mostly in our country, the grading is done manually, a costly and time-consuming process. Moreover, manual grading seldom gives the required precision. At the National Research Center for Onion and Garlic, a manual as well as power-operated onion grader has been developed to ensure quality grading. Mechanical grading ensures 90 to 95 percent accuracy and costs 70 to 75 percent less than manual grading. The size of onion bulbs also influences the storage life. Onion bulbs of 55 to 75 millimeter diameter are better for storage than small and large sized bulbs. Hence, grading of onions becomes essential before storage. After grading, the onion bulbs are dried in heaps in the shade for 10 to 15 days which facilitates drying of the outer scale. The dried outer skin of onion bulbs helps in keeping them for a longer period in storage. In our country, onions are stored in poorly ventilated temporary storage structures. Farmers have developed different types of traditional storage structures on the basis of their need and experience. Flaws in these designs result in higher losses during storage. The efficiency of these storage structures was evaluated and some new concepts based on the experience of farmers and local needs were developed at the National Research Center for Onion and Garlic. The main points to be kept in mind are storage structures should be constructed at elevated and well ventilated places. Surroundings of such structures should be free from stagnating water, bushes and grass. Walls and floor should be made of wooden or bamboo rafters and distance between these should be one inch. 
The roofing should either be made of asbestos sheets, mangalore tiles or should be thatched. The roof should extend at least three feet beyond the vertical walls to check rainwater. The orientation of double row structures should be east to west, while that of single row structures should be north to south. The evaluation report of the center on various storage structures revealed that storage structures having double row and bottom ventilated floors, bottom and top ventilated structures with plastered walls, and low cost chawl with bottom ventilation and thatched roof were found more suitable. The bottom ventilated type of storage structure was recommended by the National Horticulture Research and Development Foundation Nasik and Mahatma Phule Krishi Vidyapit Rahuri and evaluated and further improved at the National Research Center for Onion and Garlic. The capacity of such storage structures varies from 25 to 50 tons. The storage cost in such structures is nearly 30 paise per kilo per year. Low cost, bottom ventilated storage structure. This type of storage structure is suitable for small and marginal farmers. Its construction cost is very low. The storage capacity can be kept at 5 to 10 tons. Its roof is made of sugarcane leaves or grass thatch. False bottom and side walls are made of wooden or bamboo rafters. Storing cost in these structures comes to 20 paise per kilo per year. Bottom and top ventilated structure with mud plastered walls. In this type of storage structure, controlled bottom ventilation is provided on the western side. On the eastern side, ventilation is provided at the top of the wall just below the ceiling to facilitate airflow. This helps in maintaining good ventilation. Shutters are fitted on the bottom ventilator to control the draft. These shutters are used to check the flow of hot air and humidity inside the storage structure. Its floor is ventilated with wooden bantams. And outer walls are plastered with mud. This helps in regulating the temperature. The capacity of storage structures can easily be increased from 25 to 50 tons. The cost of storage comes approximately to 35 paise per kilo per year. Onion storage in cold store. Onion can be stored at 0 to 2 degrees Celsius and at 65 to 70 percent humidity for 8 to 10 months in cold storage. Storage losses are very low, but there is a lot of sprouting of onion bulbs when taken out of cold storage, and such onions get poor price in the market. Before storing in cold storage, if the onion bulbs are treated by gamma rays, the problem of sprouting can be checked, and long-term storage of onion bulbs with quality can be achieved. The storing cost in cold storage comes to 120 paise per kilo for four months. These facilities can be used for export of onion and storage of seed bulbs, where there is higher remuneration. Farmers and traders showed immense interest in storage structures developed at the National Research Center on Onion and Garlic. Some farmers in the region even constructed storage structures under the guidance of this center. Me purvi, paramparik padhati ne kanda sathono karo thoto. Tiamade kanda sathne sa paraman khupa saicho. Rajguru nagar cha kanda lassun sanshudan kendra cha shastradan cha marag dasana khali mihi sudhari tar bandi. Yamade khalcha badu ne ekte dir foot unta mukli zaga sugli liya hai ya chaprachi vardan. एक फूट मी रांबवलेला आहे आणि कांदा साठवणूक मध्ये कांद्याची उंची ही 4.5 ते 5 फूट आणि रुंदी 4 फूट ठेवलेली आहे या सर्वांचा परिणाम म्हणून या ठिकाणी हवा खेळती राहिलेली आहे आणि कांदा सडण्याचं प्रमाण खूप कमी झालं गार्लिक इज अनदर इंपॉर्टेंट स्पाइस क्रॉप व्हिच इज आल्सो यूज्ड इन इंडियन हाउस होल्ड्स इट इज यूजफुल फॉर हार्ट एलिमेंट्स एंड डाइजेस्टिव डिसऑर्डर्स 
the increasing use of garlic in Ayurvedic medicines has suddenly increased its demand. Garlic is grown on 1.15 lakh hectare area in India. Unlike onion, garlic is grown only in one season and is harvested from March to May. Total garlic production is 5.5 lakh tons. It is stored for 8 to 10 months for use throughout the year. During this period, 25 to 30 percent loss occurs due to different reasons, including weight loss by evaporation, soft rot, or infection of brown black molds. Mites also cause losses during storage. In garlic also, the measures to reduce the losses during storage start from sowing itself, as in the case of onion. Selection of suitable variety, use of correct dose and quality of fertilizer and manure, use of biofertilizer and organic manures also help in improving shelf life of garlic. Better management of irrigation, particularly during crop maturity, improves shelf life. Irrigation should be stopped 10 to 15 days before harvesting. After harvesting, bunches are made by tying the leaves together. These bunches should be dried for 10 to 15 days in the shade. For effective and safe storage, damaged, infected and small sized bulbs should be sorted out. Bulbs of the size of 25 millimeters or more should be stored. The best quality storage is possible by hanging the bunches of garlic along with leaves. But for storage of large quantities, it is better to store untopped garlic in heaps in ventilated storage structures measuring 1 meter in diameter and 1 to 1.5 meters in height. Garlic is also stored in jute bags of 30 to 50 kilograms after cutting tops, but this cuts short the storage life to three to four months. By adopting the appropriate measures of storing garlic, losses can be minimized by 10 to 15 percent. Several value-added products of garlic and onion such as garlic and onion powder, onion flakes, and garlic and onion paste are gaining popularity. For earning handsome and rewarding returns from onion and garlic crops, it is essential that bulbs are stored in scientifically designed storage structures with utmost care and precaution. The task carried out in this direction by the National Research Center on Onion and Garlic is commendable. The farmers are adopting technologies developed by this center and are leading a transformed and affluent life.